You voted with your heart. Your vote affirms that you believe Nigeria's future can be better than what it is today. You voted for change, and now change has come. Two years has been an experience no one will want to witness. No matter how rich you are, no matter what business you, you do, um, the government of the APC has, um, has traumatized Nigerians. We are talking of PDP in power for how many years? And we are talking of two years now. So for us, I believe if we follow the trend what is going on and give APC some time to have tangible results to show in the area that can easily be done, feeding people, giving money out to people, those have, they, they are in works. It's work in progress. What has the APC done? Let's stop, see, the more we keep saying it is PDP, the more we are, the more we are showing uh, 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 how, how unintelligent the discussion is becoming. Well, again, the intention of the APC is to ensure that we get electricity, we get light in Nigeria. The intention is that yeah, life what? is improved for everybody, and they're working at it. Bad and APC that now came in with the slogan change. That, oh, all the things you've been going through, all the things you've been hearing about the PDP. What have they been going through? Going through prosperity? Well, as at that time, did anyone know that buying dollar at 198 naira official rate was prosperity? When APC came in, the change rate was not uh, 165. Let's just get that one straight. It was already around 200, but it's not to justify uh, the increase if there is anything that could be done. For example, APC is not responsible for the drop in oil prices. They are not responsible for those crises in the Niger uh, Delta area that actually ensure that our production went close to almost a million. Um, the APC is not ready for governance. The quality of people managing the economy, managing the nation, shows that this um, set of people are not ready to, to govern. Two years after, we're still discussing PDP. Two years after, we're still discussing a party that handed over to you peacefully two years ago. Nothing about the economy. If you're talking about the economy, I'll, I'll say something, because this recession thing, people tend to say, oh, it was the PDP that mismanaged the economy, and I laugh. And this nation is going to survive based on the level of corruption that we had, the things that we are reading in the newspapers, which are not fabricated. So when you look at it, even in that area alone, that things are not being done with impunity, and there is progress. It's not a thing that can be stopped in one day. You can't stop corruption in one day, but if we do not kill corruption, like people have been saying, corruption is going to kill us. If we believe that, okay, it's business as usual. I take mine, you take yours, you know. Do you think there's more corruption now or less corruption? No, of course, I believe there is less corruption now, certainly. Um, President Buhari took over power May 29, 2015. Six months after, there was nobody managing our economy. That was when our economy took the heat. Go and, start, go, and look at, go and look at the indices, go and look at data. Six months, we had the sole administrator running Nigeria. Not even American can, America can survive that. Six months, our economy was exposed. There were no ministers, no federal executive council, no economic team, nothing. Just General Muhammad Buhari. And you ask, what is the quality of his mindset when it comes to the economy? So let's leave this issue of it was the PDP hand over to him in 1983. Well, again, those who have a reason to come to APC. I believe a larger percentage of them, over 90 percent, will remain there. They are ready to take over the presidency. PDP is back. PDP is the only party that can take Nigeria to greatness. I believe in the PDP. I believe in the PDP. Even God believes in the PDP.